Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Monday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, there will be time for reflection, certainly as the season goes on. But for what might be the final time in the East Bay, it is opening night of the NFL season here in Oakland, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaughan, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night. All sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday night, and these two teams are feeling it. pick up as this one gets him to the 10 yard line now it looks like we've got a bronco that's banged up on the play boy not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year we'll be back the last run got six now second and four Second and four. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. He's by himself. Keenan Allen, the 40. Pass the 20. 10. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Keenan Allen, 95 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at <laughs> all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone. And they did exactly that. to his right. Caught by Allen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Hey, Charlie! Looking to throw. Cole. And caught by Henry. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. How about the timing on that one? Where they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw. Cole. 
Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 32-yard line. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Leo, Leo. Defense, defense. Operating from the gun. Cole being chased out left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one. And every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one, you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know that he's going to throw the football, but will he make the right decisions? And in this case, with his legs, he showed the defense there's an extra dynamic to his game. Now it's the third Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, Cole. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Ready to break. Hey, team six. Team six. They'll run with a former Tar Heel, T.J. Logan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Here we go! 70, Indy! On first and 10, Cole. Eluding the point, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. Looking to throw. Cole, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The Broncos on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Operating from the gun, Cole flushed out right, and that is incomplete. Ready, ready, and logo. I got, I got. Do, 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 get. On first down, Cole. Man, that's Rashard Higgins. And they get him down, but not before go. he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run on first down. Morris. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Cole. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Throwing on first down, Cole. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
Well, unless there's a postseason meeting later in the year, this is most likely the final time that the Broncos and Raiders will play in Oakland. Of course, so much history between the two since their inaugural season in the AFL back in 1960. Broncos and Raiders have been locked together in the same division, facing off twice a season. And this rivalry also stands as the most common pairing for Monday night games like we have here 18 times, the most of any two teams. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Cole. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. First and ten, Cole. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. You know, despite the score line. takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Cole, flush to his right. And this is caught by Watkins. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw. Cole forced out to his left. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again. Cole. Buying time to his left. He'll run it. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. How about that? Their quarterback making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut as his guys are back within a single score. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing the offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some... Throwing on first down. Cole, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. Space to maneuver at the 40. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Cole dancing to his left. The tight end, Red Allison, with it. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just go, before the go, 35. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. 
on any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. From the gun, Cole. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hey, stand off. Operating from the gun. Cole, flushed out right. Complete. It's Henry. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Watkins alone on the left side. Looking to throw. Cole. And this is caught by Watkins. Touchdown, Broncos. Four yards on the touchdown grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route ordinarily is probably about three steps before you go on the slant in this amount of time. I think it was... There's a handoff to begin the drive to Morris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Roll out. General West. Five. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Morris. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back to throw, Cole. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards that time. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 36. From the gun, Cole escaping the pressure right. That is caught at the 7. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. T.J. Logan, 36 yards. As his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead here in the 4th. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. First and ten, Cole. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards.
Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Hurry, hurry. On first down, it's Morris. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That burst good for 20 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Cole over the middle. He's got Watkins. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And it's caught. And he's brought down. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll try to run it with Morris. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Alfred Morris taking it in. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. across the 30-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. He'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he will find his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. They'll look to throw. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Back to throw. Then he fires a strike to his big target, Demarius Thomas. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? So this one will wind up a Denver victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Broncos, it'll be a happy trip home as they start the season with a road victory here on a Monday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.